Welcome to the Nold Cloud webinar. This video will walk you through the steps that you need to do in order to set up your Nold Access Control System. To begin, you must have purchased and installed a Nold Open device. The first thing you need to do is to create your Nold account. To do this, download the Nold application on your phone and select the Start Setup option and then fill out the fields to create an account. Now that you've created your profile, you can set up your Nold Open devices. In the application, search for the Nold Open device. Make sure that you are in Bluetooth range. Once the search results appear, select either the first or the second output. If you have both connected, you need to repeat the setup process on the second output. On the next screen, you can enter the name of your master key and you can also take a photo of the door. Wait a few seconds until the device is activated and it will automatically appear on your keychain. If you have more than one Nold Open device, repeat the steps mentioned earlier to set up all of your devices. Now that you've activated your devices, sign in to the Nold Cloud dashboard. Go to cloud.nold.io and sign in with your account. When you log into the dashboard, the first thing you will see is a list of your devices and master keys. Hover over a device and click Settings. Here, you can rename your device, select a different photo, and add a description that can help you organize your devices. Here, you can find other important information about the device, like the serial number, device status, and firmware version. On the Invites tab, you can customize the message that Nold will send to your guests when they receive a new key to your doors. Check the Enable Custom Emails option and you will see a text editor where you can customize the message to reflect your company's colors and branding. Guests can be invited via SMS messages too, and you can also change the text message under the Custom SMS option. Once you save the custom email, a sample invite will be sent to your email address automatically. Under the Key Branding tab, you can upload a background image and set a custom title and subtitle that appears in the Nold application when a guest accepts an invitation to this device. If you have more than three devices, you can create categories to group your related devices together. To do so, Click on Create New Category and enter a name and description for the group. Next, simply drag and drop your devices into the desired category. You can edit an existing category by clicking on the category name. We call those people who will use your device to open and close doors guests. Go to the Manage Guests and Add New Guests. Select the devices that you want your guests to have access to. Enter your guest's name, email address, or phone number. If you have multiple guests, you can use the Import tool to upload a CSV or an Excel file. Make sure that the first column contains the guest's name and the second column contains the email address. Upload the CSV or Excel file and verify that the data was uploaded and selected properly. Next, you can select the access type for your guest. With the unlimited access option, your guests will be allowed to open and close your doors 24-7 until you revoke the access from him or her. If you want to set up a more strict schedule, use the Scheduled Access option. Here, you can set a start and expiration date for the key. Using the On Specific Days option, you can select specific days and times, like working hours, when the key will work. Activity feed and notifications are automatically turned on for scheduled keys, so you can monitor who and when used your doors in real time. Enabling the Allow to Copy Keys option, you can set how many times the invitation can be opened. This is useful, for example, in an apartment complex 
where you only need to invite a single tenant and she or he can send around the keys for family members and friends. You can save the key as default, so the next time you invite someone, the current key will be pre-selected for you. If you previously shared access with someone, you can click on the Choose an Existing Key option to select an existing key type. The invited guests will receive an invitation email or SMS sent by Nold. Inside the message, the guest needs to tap on the Accept Invitation button. If the Nold app is not already installed, the link will redirect to Google Play or App Store. Once the app is downloaded, start the app and the key will pop up automatically. Keep in mind that it's not required for a guest to create a Nold account in the application. After you've added your guests, you can start tracking the activity feed. This will show everything that happened within your account. At the top of your activity feed, you can see a quick overview of how is Nold used in your organization, which days are the last and most busy, and more. You can use the filters to create a new summary. Below the summary, you can see the events performed by you and your guests. It will show the name of the guest, the exact date and time when the event happened, and the related device. You can change the view to a simple table layout. You can export your activity feed into a CSV file by selecting a start and end date. The downloaded CSV file can be imported into Excel and it contains all details about the events. The activity feed is updated in real time if Nold Cloud is open in your browser. To get notifications on your phone or on your desktop, go to your account and select the notification types you want to receive. Now let's check out how you can manage your existing guests. Here you can see how many guests you have in total. In the table, you can see the guest's name, email address, phone number, and the date when you added the guest. In the key column, you can see how many keys the guest has. A green dot means active access. A blue dot indicates that the guest hasn't accepted the invite yet. The red dot is for expired access, for example, it reached the expiration date. You can sort the table by clicking on the headers. To search a guest, simply enter the keyword at the top. You can search for names, email addresses, or phone numbers. You can also filter the guests based on the device that they have access to. When you edit an existing guest, you can change the name, email address, and phone number. You can use the Note field to group similar guests together, and you can search these values too. To upload an avatar, drag and drop an image to the placeholder or click on it to select an image. You can see the list of keys the guest currently has for your devices. You can revoke and resend access to the guest with a single click. You can also modify an existing key. Here, you can find the same options just like when you share access with a guest. If the key is still in pending status, you can also see the invitation link, which you can even show to the guest as a QR code to scan. You can also edit multiple guests at once using the checkboxes at the beginning of each row. Select the guests you want to edit and choose from one of the bulk actions. You can delete the selected guests, revoke access for them, quickly share access to a new door, or edit the note field. Exporting your guests is pretty simple. Just click on the Export button and a CSV file will be downloaded automatically, which you can open in Excel. You can manage the shared keys in bulk, too. Here, you can see a list of your previously shared keys. Clicking on a key will show more details about it, the exact date restrictions, the devices, and guests it is shared with. If you delete a key, it will be revoked from all guests and devices that this key was shared with. You can modify a key, too, which again will apply to all guests and devices.
Next, let's take a look at the billing options. With every new account, you can invite up to 10 guests for free. If you want to increase this limit, you need to start a subscription. Use the slider to select the number of guests you want to add to your Nold account. If you have more than 100 guests, please contact us for a custom quote. Next, select the billing frequency. You can choose annual and monthly payments. One month is free for the annual plan. Enter your billing address. If you are a company based in Europe, enter your EU VAT number too. Next, add your credit card or PayPal account as a payments method. Once the subscription is created, you can see the next payment date, your invoices and billing details. You can update both the payment method and billing address if needed. Here, you can set up an additional email address where the invoices will be forwarded to. If you have any questions, please contact support at help.nold.io.